so we have three more races remaining of the day here at Moulton. Next up is the third and final race of the day for Junior Rotax. 11 minutes set on the timer, so let's have a look at the grid. So starting from pole position will be Valentin Klus in the 207. Alongside will be Magnus Pedersen in the 247. Row three sees the 210 of Morris Schmeis and the 252 of Mikkel Pedersen. Row three, it's Rafael Renhofer in the 233 and Nikita Genza in the 226. Bahin Mega will start seventh alongside will have the 236 of Neville Fischer. Luis Jacobs in the 228 and Rafael Balza in the 217 rounding out the top 10 positions as they go onto the formation lap. Kian Agasade and Yanni Stiak complete the top 12 positions. Looks like Din Hürich uh, did not make it out of the uh, pre-grid and is now in there at the moment and will go to the end of the pit lane and be released when the lights go out and we go racing. Leon Arndt in the 208, Corbin Hillebrands in the 241 and Richard Thomas in the 205 complete the 16 strong field. So the red lights are ignited on the starting gantry. And it will be down to Klus and uh, Valentin Klus and Magnus Pedersen to control the pace. So it is an all RS competition, front row. With the sunshine beaming, beaming down on the track here at Milton. The drivers now make their way through into the final corner. They'll split and go into the tram lines here at Moulton for their third and final race of the day. Revs rise, lights go out, we go off and away. And it's a great start by the front two as they head their way down into turn two for the first time. Let's see if they get through cleanly this time. Nice and steady. But already Morris Schmeis up into second position, having got past Valentin Klus, who's now down to third place. So they start filtering their way through. And the 247 of Magnus Pedersen now leads. Farin Mega has jumped all the way up to fourth position and is hounding on the back bumper of Valentin Klus for third place. They head into the last chicane for the first time of asking on lap one. Renhofer looks to be up into fifth position as the top three, the top four, make that the top seven or eight. Now negotiating their way through the penultimate corner, through around the final right-hand sweeper. Comes Magnus Pedersen, who leads ahead of Morris Schmeis, is challenging for the lead and trying to go up the inside and goes through. And at that same moment, Fahin Mega manages to get past Valentin close at the very same corner. Top four line astern, but Rafael Henhofer now closing. As up the inside, the lead changes yet again. As Fahin Mega now up into second position. Morris Schmeis now down into fourth place. And it is the 247 of Magnus Pedersen that continues to lead proceedings. Rafael Renhofer now ahead of uh, Mikkel Pedersen in the 252. Top four starting to break away. Being led by the 247 of Magnus Pedersen. Fahin Mega now looking to try and go for the lead. He'll have a good run coming out of the final corner. So around the corner they come. Pedersen leading. Mega now goes to the right-hand side and takes the inside line through the right-hand kink and slingshots past. Gets the move done before they even hit the entry into the double right at turns two and three. And gets a good run coming out of the corner and gets a three to four card advantage using that pure speed and momentum. Valentin Klus now up into third place having started on pole position. Rafael Henhofer now battling away with uh, Mikkel Pedersen who goes up the inside of the 233. And at that particular moment, Kian Agasade has gone up the inside of Renhofer as well. So Renhofer now drops a couple of positions within three to four corners. And now has Luis Jacobs. Unfortunately, Din Jurich not making the start of the race. As now Agasade loses out of place, and that could be two very shortly, as Yanis Diak, I think, might be trying to go up the inside. 
As Renhofer goes defensive on Agasade and retakes the position and up the inside goes Janis Diak. So Din Hürich not even making the start, so is a retirement on the last race of the day. But the top four now comprised of the following drivers. Farhin Mega in the 245 leading. Magnus Pedersen in second. Valentin Kluss in third. And Morris Schmeis in fourth place. A little bit further back, it's a very lonely Mikkel Pedersen in fifth place ahead of Raphael Renhofer. He looks to have, uh, I think, Kian Agassade has lost out one further position, maybe to Janis Diak. Nikita Genza not too far behind Agassade at the moment as the leaders again come across the line. Top four covered by just seven tenths of a second as Morris Schmeis goes up the inside of Valentin Klus to take third place back. As Janis Diak has now also gotten past Rafael Renhofer. As now, as Farhin Mega trying to battle away with Magnus Pedersen to hold on to the lead. So the 2.45 and the 2.47 now engage into battle. Morris Schmei is still being pressurised by Valentin Klus. So we still have six minutes and 40 seconds plus an additional lap left to go. Farin Mega has a little bit more of a lead now. But Pedersen closes up in the slipstream up towards turn two. And side by side, a little bit further down the order, looks like Nikita Genza and Kiana Gazzari were line, line, uh, side by side. And Genza gets through. But then it was Janis Diak and Rafael Renhofer that were also going side by side. So they are still battling away over what is sixth position. As Renhofer coming under fire from Janis Diak. Stiak slots in behind the uh, FM Racing driver. But the top four still pretty much nip and tuck as they find it. Oh, drama for Magnus Pedersen goes off the circuit. Drops down out of second position. I think probably lost it coming out of the chicane. But luckily enough, that was a heck of a save there. Keeps the foot firmly stuck in. The back end bounces off, a, off the grass and loses a significant amount of time. That allows Farhin Mega. Morris Schmeis now up into second position for JJ Racing. And RS Competition's Valentin Klus now round out the top three. So Janis Diak still trying to close up on Rafael Renhofer. For fifth place, and not too far behind them is Nikita Genza in the 226. Kiana Gassadi in the 262. Corbin Hillebrands and Nevio Fischer round out the top 10 positions. And Magnus Pedersen, that was a hefty off track moment there, and has dropped the Dane all the way down to 15th position. So now Farin Mega is trying to extend a gap here between first and second. It was just over half a second. It's now 0.664. Valentin Klus in third place and is getting quicker by the second. Nikita Genza has set the fastest lap out of anybody in seventh position of 52, 3, 4, 3. Four and a half minutes to go. So Magnus Pedersen... I think that was quite a hefty whack uh, going off, off circuit there just a couple of laps ago, meaning that Dane has decided to pull it into the pit lane. So Mega leads from Schmeis. Klus in third place. Mikkel Pedersen. So the top three have a really, really big lead now over the rest of the field. Nikita Genza looks to try and close on Janis Diak, but only went two one thousandths of a second quicker on that last lap. So Din Jurich didn't even make the start, and Magnus Pedersen on lap number five is out of the race after that, mass, that hefty off-track excursion. As Richard Thomas and Rafael Balza both make it past Luis Jacobs in the 2-2-8. But Valentin Klus 
has just gone and put in a 52.606, but the fastest lap of the race has gone to Rafael Hanhofer in the 52.240. In the 2.33, currently running out the top five positions and is just under a second adrift off of Mikkel Pedersen, who's up into P4. Drivers trying to get the head down, trying to make the carts as aerodynamic as feasibly possible as we head into the last three minutes. And the 217 of Rafael Barca trying to battle away with Richard Thomas for uh, 12th place. But Farin Mega still keeping a lead. It was around about six tenths of a second last time around. As now, Mikkel Pedersen gets past, I think. Rafael Renhofer has got the move made and will now start to try and chase down the three in front. Janis Diak not, uh, just off the back bumper of the 2.52 in sixth position with Nikita Genza still running in seventh at the back of that train. Top three cross the line. Then it's from fourth to seventh position. Can Agasade running at the top eight as Nikita Genza looking up the inside on Janis Diak and thinks, I think that's the move done. Yep, that is the case. So the battle for the lead still wages on, as does the battle for fourth position. So between Fahin Mega, Morish Mais and Valentin Klus, the gap was 0.7 of a second. But Klus looks to be that little bit quicker through the latter sector here at the track. So Morish Mais could be under fire very, very shortly. Renhofer now pulling away from Mikkel Pedersen in fifth place. Through round the final corner. As now, Klus goes bump drafting on the back of Morris Schmeis. Trying to go for second position. Just over a minute ten left to go, plus an additional lap. Mega now has a lead of five and a half tenths of a second. As the 252 of Mikkel Vedersen, I think having to, uh, is, is battling away with uh, Kan Agasade. So Valentin Klus needs to start moving forward to try and get past, first of all, Morris Schmeis and then try and close down on Fahin Mega. But Mega still having the measure of the lead of the race in the latter stages. They come around the final corner. On to the start-finish straight. Red flag. Red flag has just been called.
Ich renne da vorne hinten raus, hier vorne, da drüben wieder. Groß ist er immerhin. 